Turning now to our big story, contamination concerns right here in Metro Detroit. Yeah, this after a bright green ooze leaked onto I-696 near Cousins and Madison Heights on Friday. That part of the freeway is now shut down as the cleanup continues, leaving many residents on edge. And the substance has since been identified as hexavalent chromium. It's the same toxic chemical made notorious by the film Aaron Brockovich. It's known to cause cancer and can be harmful to the respiratory system, kidneys, liver, skin, and even eyes. We've now now learned the leak came from an old plating factory on 10 Mile Road in Madison Heights. Officials say the chemical seeped from a basement and into a drain that empties into Lake St. Clair. And tonight we're told there's no danger to the public, but when a chemical this toxic leaks into the groundwater, you can imagine there are plenty of concerns. Seven Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live from the origin site in Madison Heights. And Jennifer Ann, there are still a lot of unanswered questions when it comes to this. There really are unanswered questions, a lot of concerns, and you can see right here there are a lot of condemned signs, one on every single door of this building here on 10 Mile. In fact, it was shut down in 2016 because the owner violated EPA laws by storing hazardous material, hazardous waste in leaking containers. And now we find out that that hazardous waste has gotten into the ground, onto the freeway, and there was a lot of concern it could be in your water. This cancerous substance, hexavalent chromium, didn't ooze onto 696 overnight. It migrated through groundwater from electroplating services in Madison Heights, according to the EPA, and its owner has a history. He's a serial contaminator because he's apparently in the federal penitentiary right now for a year because of illegally storing, the way he was storing in leaky drums, this hazardous material. Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Candace Miller says this should be a wake up call. Even though it is right on the border of Oakland, it's in Oakland, but right on the border of Macomb County practically, all of that comes out into the lake. Because any substance in I-696 that ends up in a storm drain ends up in Lake St. Clair. Michigan's environmental agency Eagle says there's no immediate danger to the public. There's no risk to the drinking water um, because the area is serviced by municipal drinking water, not the groundwater. The EPA has done air monitoring and says no hazards were found. They also took soil samples that are being tested right now. A portion of a lane in I-696 has been blocked and sand appears to have been dumped on that green goo. Crews are vacuuming sewers and water catch basins to prevent the chemical from reaching the lake. On top of that, we have a sump pump in the basement of the facility that is moving the water to an on-site uh, tank, uh, and that's to prevent further uh, migration of the liquid. But how did this cancerous chemical leaking in the facility's basement slip past the EPA until now? It does beg a question. If you used a million and a half dollars of Superfund dollars to clean up this site, and yet here's this stuff oozing a couple of years later. I asked Eagle spokesperson. Any idea then how that chemical was missed? Um, that I will look into. Miller says moving forward, standards need to be raised. Let's think about making sure we have the proper protocols in place so that we're ready when an accident does happen to make sure the proper testing occurs that none of this ever gets into our water. I'm behind that building right now and I want you to see this is the tube that appears to be coming from that basement sump pump up to the container where they're containing the contaminated water from the basement with this cancerous substance. And then just on the other side of this container, you can see how close not only the freeway is, but the service drive where there are drains that go into the stormwater drain. So right now they are trying to clear out all those drains, trying to catch any of this chemical that may have already gotten into the stormwater drains. Meanwhile, Macomb County says they want everyone to know, at least in Macomb County, they have a hotline set up. So if you see anything that could be environmentally dangerous, they want you to call the hotline so they can help remediate it as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, still a lot of questions here about how this all happened. Happened. We'll stay on top of it for you right here on Channel 7. Reporting live in Madison Heights, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Yeah, pretty scary and definitely concerning. Jennifer Ann, thank you.